Arifureta is back, baby, and we're about to attack the Empire. Our bunny clan chief, Shea's dad, seems to be captured with other people, but they don't seem to be captured. They may have wanted to be captured, based on what we see at the end of the episode with their eyes glowing up. There is new titles, new names. You can't just call the kid his name. He's got like a specific title, which is actually pretty funny. The animation is also looking very crisp. The whole plot arc of this, you know, story arc for season three, I think is going to be just basically just perfect with us in terms of like shitty empire, you know, racism against bunny clan, us showing up, dunking on them. It's going to be actually so much fun. Let's begin today's reaction. Isakai and slaves, baby. Bald. Coliseum? They broke the Coliseum? The roar of evolution, but... You see this shit? Look at the animation here. This reminds me of Blue Lock and Tower of God right now. That's literally just- that's literally just blue lock animation. They're all sliding. This is the new meta. Look at that shit. Yep. Yep. Roar of Revolution. No! Leave the poor dog boy alone! What the- I forgot- What kind of power is this? Does he have like- Telepathical, like, Esper power? Just... Force pull. He literally just dis disarmed them. Controlling metal? Oh. He threw a rock? I'm like, is he doing some fucking, like, push-pull shit? No, there's a rock. There's a very tiny pebble there that hits his hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, I thought he was doing some force pull. So what do we do, bro? Do we save every single person? It's actually so interesting now that, you know, Koki is, like, with us. And because of the person Hajime is, like, the parallels in their, like, sense of justice, right? Because, like, you're going to obsess over every single person. We can't save every single person, right? How is that possible? Very idealistic. But, like, maybe at the end of the day... Instead of focusing on small examples like that, we can just overturn the empire from within and everything else will be settled too. It's, it's, there's not an easy answer. I wonder if Koki will learn from this. I don't know, he, he's, he's got a good heart though. Like, Koki is a good person. He's just a bit too naive and idealistic. Will he learn or will he continue to do this? Like if he somehow like rather than just like obeying and submitting to Hajime, if he somehow figure his own way out to deliver his own sense of justice, even if it's naive, I would really respect that. But I don't think the author would give Koki that much time to shine. <sighs> ひとより多くを気づいてしまうっておけないその性格も含めてな。ティオソン。年長者のザレ。ババドラゴン。スポイルド。ハジメ。いや。カモン、ゲストスポイルド。イングでザ。ビッグラインアップオブガールズギッティ
It's so trashy, I love it. Not with Kaori, no. Jealous. Torturing. And hey, a sex dungeon? Torture? <laughs> Why is her skin so glossy? You know, they say that, you know, after you work out and you sweat a lot, right? You make some love, you feel very refreshed. Maybe she feels refreshed because she tortured, or... Glowing. The afterglow. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Everyone was doubting. We're infiltrating tonight. Would it be that easy? How much of that clout transfers over to the Empire? I bet Lily's gonna be in danger too. Yeah, it sounds like they went crazy in the town. Loki, I want Cam to get out by himself. I want him to be like, this is all part of the plan. We want it to be captured. Now that we're within, we're gonna fuck this place up even more. Koki getting corrected again. Reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. I love that girls. You see the girls? The girls are like, huh? Huh? This is too easy. Be a scapegoat. Be the bait? Okay. Wow, good job, hero. She's a queen find it. The other dudes, right? The other guy, the girl, they're like, yes, this is finally our time to shine. Koki, our goat, yes. Hero, team hero. <laughs> Shizuku's probably like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Y'all are being used like fucking tools right now. Rocks. Oh. <laughs> the Power Rangers. Literally, all right. Here's the for you, goody two shoes, right? You team hero side, put on the Power Ranger helms. This one even got cute, like cat ears. Kamen Rider, Sentai. Wow, so cool. Nice. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Hero law? Look at this. Hero parentheses law. He ain't even trying to fucking hide it. He's just straight up saying it. Yeah, don't worry, Hero. You're the Red Ranger lol. Yeah, I did. I did. I just lolled right now. You're right. You heard that. Pink. What? All around meh? No, this girl isn't all around meh. She's like... Specifically, barrier girl, right? Is she like the defense of the team? She just mid? Wah, wah, maybe. Pink. pink. She just gets pink. The cute, cute ear one. Look at that. Everyone's having so much fun with this. Do they? Are they secretly cute and uwu inside? Did Kaori actually say that? She does? Oh my god. She is the cool beauty. That is very cute, cute uwu inside the gap moe, bro. I want to see these plushies. Yeah, rabbit cat ear. Perfect. Oh. It's so crazy to hear Hajime speak like this. Because he's always like super edgy and dark and shadowy. But like right now, bro, this is a peak slice of life moment we're having. 
この空気。言っておくね。仕方なく受け取っておくけど。You hear that laugh track in the background? しずくさんなら少しくらいうさ耳触ってもいいですよ。ぴょん。しよぴょん。しよぴょん。Would have never thought she's a good to make that sound. All right, Empire stuff. Okay, you know what? That, that, that first section, though, like, truly, I believe that these moments in Arifureta are like the stuff that I enjoy maybe the most. Second, by whenever we clutch and like save our classmates, right? Those power fantasy moments are hype. But like, Arifureta slice of life moments are actually so peak. And it doesn't, like, it's weird how, you know how I say sometimes, The contrast of the silly moments takes away from the dark, serious side and it just ruins the immersion. It's not the case with Ari Furata. Maybe because of how it's set up from the beginning of it being like this trashy isekai, but like these slice of light moments are way more fun to me than like any Labyrinth episode where going there fighting random CGI monsters. Nah, like this is like where this show fucking shines. <laughs> Chief is trolling the Imperials, Cam. They're thriving in here. Yep. You believes? You believes? You can swear, bro, but peep. Hajime Loki hilarious this season. Boss. Now we're here. Yeah. Yeah, they're really injured, but their spirits are good. Bail you out. <laughs> They even have the fucking Sentai theme song. Power Ranger theme song. I don't know how. I, I think there's a mismatch here, right? Koki's golden armor with the red helmet. I don't know how I feel about that. She's cool looking real nice. The, the pink, though. Henshin! <laughs> Why is the sound effect so cool for everyone else? Then, as soon as you go to Shizuku, it's just a ding! Whoa! Whoa! Ding! Maybe. Look at your stupid helmets! Yes? Don't leak the names. Wow. Koki truly is just born for this role. Like, the talking, the self righteous, like, speech pattern, the posing, it's perfect. Are we being tortured right now? He's back. The tortured guy is back the torturer saying, You're trash. You need to torture me harder. The P still continues. Torture me harder. <laughs> He's jacking off. Oh. This is amazing. I thought that the Empire arc was gonna be so serious and like dark and like, oh no, bunny clan's getting tortured, they're all taken, slavery, but nah. It, it, it's just a fucking comedy. It, it's peak. It's actually so funny how everyone in here is thriving. The Power Ranger bullshit, the soldiers are like, what are you trying to fucking look cute right now? Like, like this is actually peak Arifureta. Season three Arifureta, this is like, maybe the author realizing like, yeah. This is like the brand of our show. Like, the whole trashiness, let's fucking embrace it. Let's incorporate all the funny shit into the, the serious dark shit too. This is like peak Arifureta. No. We need to save the Empire soldiers. It's not just Cam. 
dude, I, you know that blonde girl, Daenerys or something in Game of Thrones? You know how she has like mother of dragons, breaker of chains, the unburnt, like, like seven steps. Like, this is the same shit here. A whole fucking name is a whole sentence. Say that again. April got the Roderio Hari of the Dark Hunter. He loves this shit. She should get a new name too. Wait, you're on duty. The Empire people are leaving. Damn, I can't believe you actually just killed them. Actually, I can. It's just, you know, we're having so much fun now they're dead. Yeah, we're here. Things are a bit too easy right now. They've all been reunited. Bunny Clan saved! What the fuck already? Ooh. She took that very personally. I bet that she didn't at the I don't know, cause like they called her, right? You trying to be cute? You trying to fucking look cute or something? And then she couldn't like move any the embarrassment. It's our fault. We trained the bunny clan up. They changed so much. And the Empire is like, what's going on with them? I need to know. It's our fault. We declare war on the Empire, huh? I mean, you do have the bunny ears to listen. Oh. I didn't even know that was a thing. She has a little bunny tail. You in front of her dad? That's crazy. <笑>そのなさい。<笑> They're very curious. Why we change? <laughs> He's bad on him, bro. I wanna... Bro, we should have seen it like that. It's like a back, like a flashback. He actually spat on the Emperor Cam Gigachat. He's the Emperor, a bit of a masochist. He liked that. Okay. Mm. We gotta go attack first then. We can't just sit here and do nothing. Death to the Empire! That's where you come in, boss. <laughs> We can't do it by ourselves, boss. Boss man, come on, lead us to glory. Oh. Okay, not like a direct frontal assault. Assassinate the Empire, the Emperor. We haven't met the Imperial family members just yet either. The trailer showed them, they seem pretty shitty. They're gonna slowly pick them off one by one. Hmm. I thought that we would just go in and just blow shit up, but rather than just like destroying the empire, pick off all the big important decision makers and the supporting cast around the emperor, assassinate them, then try to sign like a peace treaty. You know they're not gonna fucking. Uh, maybe at the end it'll just fall apart, then Hajime will just blow it up. Nod. We gotta help him. Well, 
ここで引けば結局以前と同じ敗者と。Let's go, Bunny Clan. 前を見るのだしや。これ以上だ。ボスと共に外へ出て、前へ進むのだと。Stand proud, s h e a Stand proud! I don't like it when Shea's ears are all floppy. I mean, she's sad. We should help them out? Shea. No! Well, maybe we'll show up at the very end. Okay. Okay. It wouldn't look good on them. No fighting at all? Oh, I just called Shea the Team Sunshine? She is the team sunshine. Assist, help out here and there. All right, we're doing it. Hard commit. As he watches, Yo, this is getting set up to be one of the craziest, like, like. Humiliation rituals to the emperor. Like they're setting this emperor guy to be so evil. We're gonna be dragging his like face in the ground, holding him, while we kill everyone else around him. Off. Like I'm just imagining the pop off moment when we actually get to the emperor. This is gonna be crazy. They're not to be fucked with. You beeps. Kuno B. Everyone is censoring themselves. Be. Hazme's voice acting is too funny. I, it's all serious, serious, and then B. Gong ho, gong ho. High speech. <laughs> yeah, this is high. Is there something deeper here going on? Is this just supposed to be comedy? Like, how the bunny clan just changed so much? That's what the empire, the emperor was so interested in, right? They're like, yo, these bunny people, they changed so hard. Is there something about Hajime that's changing them? Is this something about the bunny people that's changing them? Do I even have to nitpick in a show like this? Who knows? But when their eyes are lit like this, they're terrifying. <laughs> you beeps. That's uh, another episode of Arifurata, man. Dude, today's episode was actually really good too. Maybe even better than last episode. Straight up, I think it is. We immediately get into more Koki and Hajime parallels, right? They're pretty much opposite. We have one person that's trying to save everything and another that can only save just the people that like he cares about. And I'm not saying Koki is necessarily wrong, but if you get fixated on like every little thing, you can't see the bigger picture and you might not be as productive. It'll be interesting to see if Koki will eventually learn how to compromise meet somewhere in between and recognize that yes and we shouldn't fixate on every single thing but maybe like we can arrive at a solution that saves everybody i don't know maybe koki will never learn and you know he'll stick to his guns and even if he sticks to his guns if he can come to his own answer i think i would really respect that the power ranger stuff this is just peak arifura like this is an episode like this i think is when arifura is really feeling itself like season one season two i'm not I don't want to speak on behalf of the author, but the vibes that I'm getting right now, it just feels like things are just moving. All the characters are just kind of established. Hajime, even though he's so edgy and, you know, cruel sometimes, he can be very funny and chuny like this too. The voice acting, the constant beeping, the <laughs> Shizuku being like, a, I want to be cute secretly, like all that is just peak Arifurata. And again, this is when Arifurata is just at its finest. The bunny clan, they're chilling. Even the torture scene saying like, come on, torture me harder, bro. What are you doing? Like, they are chilling. They're thriving. And the goal isn't necessarily to, like, confront the Empire directly and just destroy them. No, it's more than that. We want to subjugate them, honestly. We want to make sure that the next time that they say the name Halia, so they hear about it, terror will strike them. How do we do that? We have to put such... We have to give them such an impression 
whatever we do, dragging the Emperor's head, beheading everyone around them, terrorize them, and Hajime will be the supporting cast. The Bunny Clan will be the main characters, and this arc is looking even better than ever. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.